Work and Simple Machines by Mrs. Dieter When you think of the word work, what kinds of things come to mind? You probably think of things like homework or working at a job or maybe even working out. But when we think of the scientific way of thinking about work, it's a little bit different. When we consider work, work is done when a force and the motion of an object are in the same direction. So in this case, the man is lifting the box, providing an upward force, and the motion of the box is in the upward direction. So in this picture, work is being done. But if you try to lift a heavy object, how can you make the work easier? What about using a machine? But not something so complicated like the one shown here. How about something simple? Simple machines, maybe. There's a variety of simple machines that we can use to make work easier. When we say we're making work easier, we mean that it's requiring less of a force to have an object produce work. Let's go through each one of the simple machines on their own and discuss how they make work easier. Let's start with the inclined plane. An inclined plane is also known as a ramp. Imagine that you have to move an object into the back of a moving truck. If you had to lift it off of the ground, it would require quite a bit of force and effort to get it into the back of the vehicle. However, if you include an inclined plane or a ramp, you can reduce the amount of force you need to apply over a greater distance. It makes work easier. This man, using an inclined plane, can a bit easier, a bit more easily, push the refrigerator into the back of the truck. He's increasing the distance over which the force is applied. It's easier to push the refrigerator up a ramp than to try to lift it from the ground into the back of the truck. So an inclined plane is a simple machine that makes work easier. It requires less force over a greater distance. The wedge is another simple machine. And here are a few examples. A chisel is an example of a wedge. An axe cutting through a piece of wood is also an example of a wedge. And also using a knife to slice through anything, like a piece of cheese or any other food that you're trying to cut. The wedge reduces the amount of force over a greater distance again. A wedge is simply a moving inclined plane. Again, making work easier. The screw is the next type of, in, of simple machine. And a screw is simply just that, what you picture in your head when you think of the word screw. We also have examples such as a spiral staircase or even a road wrapping around a mountain to get to the top, as in this example with the castle. A screw increases distance so that you require a smaller amount of force. And in the case of a screw, it's simply an inclined plane or ramp wrapped around a central point. So if you look at the picture of the spiral staircase, the pole in the center is the central point and the inclined plane is the stairs wrapped around it. We're in, increasing the distance over which a force is applied so that we have a smaller amount of force, making work easier. The lever is our next simple machine. You can see the lever here used as a piece of wood to try to move this rock. A lever could also be considered a wheelbarrow and also a seesaw. To make a lever work, all of these objects have a central pivot point called the fulcrum, and I've highlighted it in each picture. 
In the first picture, the smaller rock is the pivot point on which the lever turns. In a wheelbarrow, it's the point where the wheel is connected. And in the seesaw, it's the point at which the seesaw moves. It wobbles on the fulcrum. Again, we're increasing the distance so that we can reduce the amount of force required to move an object. Our next example of a simple machine is the wheel and axle. One type of wheel and axle that you come into contact to probably on a daily basis is a doorknob. The wheel is the handle of the doorknob and the axle is the point that the wheel spins on. You can also think of a wheel and axle on something like a motorcycle. We of course know that the wheel is the part that the motorcycle sits upon and the axle is the point that goes through the wheel and allows the wheel to spin. Again, we're decreasing the amount of force required and making work easier. Our last example of a simple machine is a pulley. A pulley is used to be able to move a heavy object easier. Again, we're making work easy, reducing the amount of force required. You can see this through this final picture. When this man pulls down on the rope, the pulley is attached at the top of the picture and it allows him to lift a heavy object easier. It requires less force to pull the object up because we're increasing the distance over which the force is applied. These are all examples, as I mentioned, of simple machines and they're all used to make work easier to require less of a force over a larger distance. All of the images used today came from clipart.com with permission. I want to thank you for viewing today's video and let me know if you have any questions.